time-tested recipes from friends of Gooseberry Patch, and I'll tell you tonight, all of these recipes are done in your slow cooker. And I can also tell you, since we started the show, this has been very popular. 800 books are gone. Marie Louise, come in here. Let's get busy eating this <laughs> hello, great food hello. from the slow cooker. <laughs> I tell you what, America has a love affair with the slow cooker. They do. Because what we love about a slow cooker is that it's doing the work while you're living your life and doing everything else. Which is fine Which with is me. just perfect. You know, Marie <laughs> Louise is a busy mom and she is a wife and mother. She is also someone that works full time and having this kind of help in the kitchen becomes invaluable. It does. And it's from our friends at Gooseberry Patch. So you know that every single recipe in here has been time tested. Our friends for Gooseberry Patch have sent all these things in, so we've got some really good things tonight. I do want to let you know, it's the only day at the advanced order price, and we have that correct price on the screen for you now. It's $15.92 for 260 recipes, every one designed and developed for the slow cooker. Now, Let's begin with dessert. Yeah. And are we going to start with peach cobbler? I'm going to start you right down there because peach Ooh. season is in full swing here right now. And fresh peaches, these are actually made with white peaches and the golden peaches if you want to. Yum. It's got a really, really good, creamy, rich. I love peach cobbler. Face on the inside of it. I am a crazy person so when it comes to peach cobbler. In there. I got whipped cream. Oh, I was hoping you'd Pop say that. Pop some whipped cream on there. So it comes out of the slow cooker. Basically, everything goes into the slow cooker. You push a button, and you kind of walk away, and you come back, and dessert is ready. Mm. Isn't that good? Oh, in this time of year. It's summertime. Both my grandmothers made peach cobbler growing <laughs> up, and they both made it very differently. Uh -huh. But I loved it every time I had it. I'll tell you, it's warm, it's comforting, it's bright and fresh because the peaches are in season. Yeah. That's amazing. And so easy to do. That's the best thing about it. Whether you're busy like me, whether you really don't know how to cook very well, a slow cooker is mm. a great place to start. A slow cooker is a great place to go, even if you love to cook and you just don't have time. All right, what have you here? We're going to hit into the triple chocolate cake next. Oh, I was hoping you'd say that. Triple <laughs> chocolate cake. So I have some vanilla bean ice cream here for you. Nice. Look at this. Are you ready? Oh, Look how moist this is going to be. Word. Moist chocolate cake Pudding in the slow cooker. Pudding and cake and chocolate chips and a little bit of sour cream in here. And I'm going to throw some raspberries oh, on the top of it for your you. Raspberries. There's your raspberries. Okay. There you go. That's crazy. How about that? So if you don't want to use your slow cooker to do your main dish, use your slow cooker to make a dessert. Maybe you even make it around the time of dinner. So maybe later in the evening, like around 10, 10, you can get into it. Isn't that delicious? <laughs> Here we go. Happy dance, happy dance. That's a slow cooker chocolate cake pudding, <laughs> moisty, yum, yummy. Yum, 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 yum. Chocolate cake happy dance. That is crazy. And every bite is like pudding, but it's cake. And then mm. you serve it over ice cream. And then you let the slow cooker do the heavy lifting while you're out running errands and picking up kids from ball practice and dropping off the dry cleaning and living your life. Because you come home and the slow cooker has done dinner. Thanks, slow cooker. Thanks, honey, for making dinner. That's what you want to say, the slow cooker, right? Now, speaking of dinner. Yeah. Can we wander over here? We can. We because definitely I'm can. noticing some serious pepperoni up in there and some pasta. What have we here? Pepperoni pizza rigatoni. How about Yum. that? All the wonderful flavors that we love with pizza. But and is there ground beef this. in there too? There's ground beef in here too, and there's oh, pepperoni. Oh, this might be my new favorite recipe. So Are you savory. kidding? And I love the rigatoni noodles. I've always loved the rigatoni noodles. Oh, I'm a big fan of those look too. Look at that. It's hot and saucy. And ooh. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> now let me get some pepperoni and some go. ground beef and a big old rigatoni noodle. It's going to be hot. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, that is my new favorite dish. I have got to make this at home. I know, it is so that good. That is crazy. And you could probably adapt that in a casserole dish and you pop it in the oven and oh my word, that is unbelievable. And you could put all kinds of pizza toppings in here. So if you like pizza with everything, mm. you can actually throw in your mushrooms mm. and your olives mm. and all much other stuff in there too. Isn't Keep that talking. good? Keep Isn't talking. that good? Mm. So we're going to go down here. So good. I'm telling you what, the nights here are getting cold, believe it or not, which has been quite delightful. Mm. But that's when we really start thinking about bringing our slow cookers. And you couldn't do it without doing ribs. These are a Thai style rib. So there's a little Yummy. bit of sweet, a little bit of salty, a little bit of peanut butter and orange in there. You can do these in your ribs slow, low and slow all day long. Now, look at all these beautiful color photos, mm -hmm. Marie Louise. This is amazing. Well, you're talking about a book that has over 260 recipes designed for the slow cooker. And I'm telling you, look at this Italian sausage and penne. Oh, my word. So many delicious recipes, desserts, casseroles, soups, everything you love. And the best part of all, 
They're all done in the slow cooker. Everyday slow cooker recipes. These are family favorites. And there's one whole chapter in there where everything is five ingredients or less. So what's so next, what do you my want love? To go next? Well, you were looking at this earlier. Now let's talk this about this. Is, this is I'm pumpkin. Give you this pudding? is pumpkin pie pudding. Oh, gets man. made in the slow cooker, and then the whole thing gets turned out, and then you can use whipped cream in a can if you want to, and to embellish the whole edge of it. Mm. Oh, isn't that the taste of fall? It's perfect, and the best part is it cooks in the slow cooker. Mm-hmm. Maria Louise, that's delicious. It's delicious. Ooh. I love it. I'll tell you what. What you got next? And no gooseberry patch cookbook would be complete for David Venable without something that has the divine swine in it. How about a bacon and corn chowder? For anyone who's ever asked, <laughs> my friends always ask me, I want to make soup. I need to make soup. Bacon and corn with a savory broth with red potatoes, all just tossed in your slow cooker, mm. and you basically mm. turn it on and walk away, and you've got soup. It's amazing. You've got soup. Just perfect. What have you there, my love? And then you've got the chicken and the dumplings. Chicken and noodles in here. Also, this is really like chicken and dumplings. Do. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's got noodles in there, or you can use dumplings. It's really savory, chickeny, and that's I would. That's amazing. This is rib sticking, is what it this is. is. It's very good. Oh my word, that's unbelievable. These are the kinds of recipes mm. that you're going to go to again and again every day. I'm in love day. with this book, Marie I Louise. I know. It's just, it's, things get busier in the fall. So many of us moms <clears throat> have kids that are doing things in soccer and playing games, and you need something fast and easy to turn out when people walk inside the door. Let it cook all day long, and then you got dinner. Hold this book and get a good look at it, because here's what's happening. We started with 6,000 books. We have fewer than 2,000 left. And I have over 1,000 people on the phone lines, and that's all assuming they're ordering one, which is not the case. <laughs> they're getting gifts. I'm telling you, if you there don't you make go. anything else out of this book, make the pepperoni, pizza, pasta, rigatoni thing, because that is crazy. Crazy. I'm just going to lose what's left of my mind. I'm going to have a big old.